What's up, you guys? This is Karmic and Dennis TNTN, TN, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of. Or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current karmic energy for the collective. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the emails, the bookings, the donations. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support you show to me and the channel. I appreciate you. I do. I do. I appreciate you guys. All right, so let's get into this current karmic energy for the collective. Current karmic energy for the collective. Okay, dysfunctional family. So there's a lot of arguing and fighting. Yeah, someone is very, very upset at this time. Okay, so we have seeking, seeking assistance with others to up the hate. So I'm, I'm hearing there's a cult of people that's arguing with each other. Yeah, they all watching you and shit. Okay, so this is like a cult. Okay, these people are like arguing with each other. Okay, they mad at each other, okay, and shit like that, and they all watching you, okay? It's a lot going on, okay, in this cult energy. All right, so let's get into it. All right, current energy. Current energy. Current energy. Oh, shit. Okay, so these cards is like, <laughs> y'all see me shuffling them and how they just, okay? So for some of y'all, with this happening, this is giving me an energy of all this hate that this cult tried to throw towards you. It's not working. It didn't connect. It didn't go through. It wasn't successful. Okay? It wasn't a full connect. Okay? Is what I'm seeing here. If this got something to do with magic... Okay, it did not go like through. It wasn't successful or something like that. Okay, and they watching you because not everybody is arguing and like, you know, they really going through it with each other. Okay, it's like backfiring. This could even be a backfire happening. Okay, the cult is going against each other at this point. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so let's get into it. Damn, five of swords in the reverse. They lost. Hell yeah. They they like, let's come to a peaceful resolution with this shit, you know? All right. We need a resolution. There is so much confusion. Yeah, they on that Aaliyah shit. They ready to... <laughs> they like, can we come to a like, you know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> okay, so this is like a cult that was coming up against you. It's like... Yeah, they not. They ending the conflict with your ass. Yeah. Yeah, they ending the conflict with your ass. They done. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Seven of Swords. Yeah. All this sneaky ass shit they was doing, it has now put them in the Five of Pentacles. Okay? They are in some huge lack, loss, or some shit. Like, it's a lot of negative shit going on. Yep. Yeah, when it comes to their money. Nine of Pentacles, when they wealth. Hell yeah. Because they came after somebody that they shouldn't have been coming after. And now they all hurt three of swords and some kind of grief of some shape or form. Okay, for some of y'all, this could be one of their members got fucked up or something. Okay, of some shit. Okay, if this got something to do with magic. You defeated whatever that they tried to... Because this is giving me an energy of like a team of people that's like trying to conjure up some shit, right? And then it's like they mad and watching you because it's like a lot of you guys are moving forward. You, It's like whatever that they conjured up, they really thought it was going to fuck you up, okay? Like they could have even like felt like it was some kind of hope at a point in time that you was going to be fucked up. 
But then I'm hearing that they realize that they can't do that. They can't fuck you up. They can't put you in a where you fucked up. For some of you guys, this could mean too uh, a situation where you got pissed off at your job. For some of y'all, I'm even seeing somebody fought somebody at their job or something. Okay, and you could have quit or something like that, but then you're going to get something else. You're going to get another opportunity that's going to be even better. It's going to be something that you like more. Okay? For some of y'all, the reason why, if, the, if this got something to do with like the job situation I just said, the reason why it could have happened like this, because for some of y'all, you could have been getting nudged from your ancestors to leave a place, but you didn't want to leave it. You didn't want to let go. You was too in and out in your mind about really letting go. So it's like your ancestors may, you know, kind of like conjured up something. So it was like you was forced to leave. It's like you didn't have a choice. Okay. Because I mean, if you are tapped in with your ancestors and spirit guides, if you don't belong somewhere, they will force you out. You know what I'm saying? They'll make you start to feel uncomfortable and they have forced you out of something if it's meant for you to get out of something, okay? It's like they'll start making you feel uncomfortable. You will start feeling real, like, anxious and stuff like that because it's like you're, it's meant for you to move on. It's meant for you to let that go. You know what I mean? So it's like now you're going to start feeling uncomfortable until you let it go, okay? So I'm seeing that energy as well. So we have Aquarius, strong Aquarius, we got Taurus, we got Virgo, Capricorn, and we got Libra, okay? Something to do with 10, something to do with 15, okay? What's this five of swords in the reverse? What's this five of swords in the reverse, Spirit? What's this five of swords in the reverse? What's this five of swords in the reverse for the collective? Yeah, knight of pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> Queen of cups. Yeah, I'm hearing like some information could have came in when it came to you. Because I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, you have been being monitored to see if something was going to happen to you. Or you have been being monitored that if something was going to happen to you. And for a lot of you guys, information went back to the... You know, to the people, like, nah, man, this motherfucker's still doing good. They still fucking, you know, they still alive. And not only are they alive, they just, like, gliding through. Seem like they gliding through life or some shit. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, very relaxed. You know, taking care of yourself, chilling. Okay? All right. What's this Wheel of Fortune? 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 All right, so we got the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Y'all, this person is mad as fuck. Look at their face. Mad as fuck that you just sitting there smelling flowers and shit, doing your motherfucking thing. I'm telling you, this whoever this leader of this cult is, this person is mad. They are mad as fuck because this person thought that they had all the knowledge and shit over you. And this person mad that you still smelling flowers and shit. You know, it didn't, it didn't phase you. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you could have did like a spiritual bath or something like that. Okay, or you just been pouring like, you've been really healing. You've been pouring a lot of healing energy into yourself. Okay. All right, getting more discipline and different things like that within your routine or your daily life. And for some of you guys, it's like this person is mad because they were trying to knock you off. But I'm hearing like it's done backfired. Okay, and now this person is in this King of Wands energy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clarify the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, Hierophant. For some of you guys, whoever this person is, this is a high-level motherfucker. Okay? This is a high-level motherfucker. Okay? Hell yeah. Queen of... King of Wands? Yeah. And it's like, they like, they giving up. They giving up now. Yep, they giving up now. 
Because this person is like, every time we attack this person, it's like they level up. They go up more. You know, every time we think we sneak in this person, this person level up more or, or it's something like that. So it's like whoever this cult is or this cult leader, it's like, you know, they are getting some kind of enlightenment. Even though they getting fucked up, they still getting some enlightenment that, damn, every time we attack this person, this person don't deplete. They go up. So what the fuck? Okay. What's this? <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Yep. You got this energy under your control. <laughs> Hell yeah. You done depleted this energy so heavy. Yeah, you on top of they motherfucking necks. Man or woman. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they ass get. What's this nine of pentacles? What's this nine of pentacles? All right. Empress. Exactly. You know, you have to pull out that other side. You know what I'm saying? Empress, you have to let them know. You have to let them know. Like, y'all not about to be attacking me and thinking that, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be a fool and let y'all attack me. No, you got me fucked up. Yeah, and that's why they having a whole lot of problems where they can't move forward at this time. Okay, this is why. Yeah. You have secret hidden knowledge when it comes to whatever that they was attacking you with. You have secret knowledge about that particular energy. So, these motherfuckers fucked up. That's just period. What's the devil? What's the devil? <laughs> yeah. They are realizing they made a bad risk on trying to attack you with this particular energy. Yeah, because it didn't phase you. It ain't do shit. Okay? Yeah, you still good. You still secure. You know what I'm saying? Man or woman. You still straight, okay? You still good. Yep. It took a lot of motherfuckers to come up against you and they still lost. Damn, that's fucked up, huh? They some weak ass motherfuckers. <laughs> they really are weak. Like, they really are. Yeah, I split the deck on shine. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers ain't stop shit, yo. Yeah, because your ancestors and spirit guys are always around you. They always coming and visit you. You know what I'm saying? They always around you. They always there and they always ready to, you know, do what they need to do. You know, a lot of you guys, you have spirit guys and angels and ancestors that look like this. You know what I'm saying? You see how innocent they look. But then, you know what I'm saying? They turn into shit like this. Like, yeah, we got your ass kind of energy. <laughs> Yeah, don't let this little sweet face fool you. Okay? Like, don't let the sweet face fool you. It's giving me, like, Carrie kind of energy. You know how Carrie looked, that Carrie movie? How she looked innocent? But then, you know, when she was, like, fed the fuck up, she turned into the motherfucking, like... You know what I'm saying? She was fed up. It was like, okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I split the deck on justice. Okay, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides want you to know that there will be justice when it comes to this shit with these motherfuckers. Yep. Things. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, your ancestors and spirit guides are moving things in your home to let you know that they're there. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we have labor and competition. So, it's like, I'm feeling like your ancestors and spirit guides is like letting you know, like, these particular energies, they worked very hard to come up against you, okay? You got labor and you got competition, okay? It's like, they worked very hard to come up against you. This competition, they tried all kind of shit, okay, is what I'm seeing here. They did, but you are very in touch with your ancestral roots, so it's like it's nothing that this i mean they could have gathered up as many people as they wanted to it just would have been more people dropping i mean that's all that is i mean they could have gathered up 10 20 50 100 people all them motherfuckers would have dropped and that's just what it is <laughs> that's just what it is yo i just keeping it real just keeping it real 
All right, so the signs we have, we got Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Capricorn. Okay, Aries, Sagittarius. Like, these motherfuckers need to just stop, y'all. Like, for real. They just embarrassing themselves. So bad. Like, so bad. I'm hearing somebody could have went back into their addictions, too. Like, if somebody has stopped doing something, they back into that shit. Okay? Because they stress the fuck out now. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Somebody could be even trying to, like, cover their tracks. Trying to clean the shit up kind of energy. But yeah, you just chill because you already know you good. So you don't give a fuck about what these motherfuckers talk about. Yeah. We have why. Yep, we got drunk. Yeah, somebody turned into the bottle and shit. They stressing, y'all. <laughs> these hoes stressing. Yep, exactly. Trying to suck the energy out of you and shit. Man or woman. Okay, for some of y'all, this is some. If this is a man, this is somebody that you had threesomes with. Okay, you could have had a lot of threesomes with this person and stuff like that. Okay, and this person is watching you mad as hell because it's like you don't want to have shit to do with them. So this person could have came together with other people to actually do magic on you because this person is mad that you don't want to have shit to do with them. So this person could have dipped into some magic to try to come up against you and shit. And this person is watching and seeing if the shit working. Yup, that's what I'm hearing. Current energy. All right, so we have the letter B. We have A. I heard Andy, Andy or Amy, miscarriage, perfume and or cologne somebody could have just bought. We have freckles, performer. We have M, socks with flip-flops. We got African, Cancer, SUV, dark eyes, colorful nails, 20s, professional. I'm telling y'all, somebody hit up a professional, supposedly. <laughs> Manager, we have stripper, trainer, trainee. Assistant, brown skin tone, five kids or more. This is giving me an energy where somebody could have used five people or more that were younger than them to help come up against you, okay? White liquor, clear liquor, nose piercing. We have thongs. We have the letter X. All right, something to do with Malcolm could be significant. All right. Hello, spirit. I heard Miami. Something to do with Miami. Something to do with Max or Maxwell. Something with Maria or Marie. Okay. Something with Amelia, Amelia, something with Ashley, something with Ari, 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 okay, Ari. This could also have something to do with like somebody uh, dealing with somebody that got a lot of baby mamas and they could be having a lot of problems with someone and they baby mamas or something like that, okay. All right. So also with the max energy, I'm hearing like whoever this this cult is, they could have really did things to the max. It's like whatever they did, it's like they put they all into it. Okay, they put they all into it and it still didn't work. <laughs> it still didn't work, weak assholes. Yup. Something with bam bam okay yeah because that's how it hit they ass like bam when that shit backfired that's how it hit they ass okay her abby something with abby something with xavier 
Okay? I heard Myra. I heard Melina. Okay? That is crazy. That's what I think. I don't know about y'all, but that's what I think. It's a little funny, too. Dumb assholes. That's what they ass get. For some of y'all, this could be a... Uh, a pastor of a church. Uh, this could be somebody, um, a church that you left, okay, or something like that, or you don't go there no more, or something like that, okay. Yeah, like, and this person was very upset that you decided not to attend there no more, and they start doing the most behind the scenes to you, okay, on a spiritual level, okay. Mm -hmm. You would be surprised on some pastors that they be acting like they so against um, spirituality and shit like that. But behind the scenes, they be actually practicing doing shit on people. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, so much fake ass shit don't make no sense. Yeah, they be doing this shit behind the scenes, acting like they don't believe or they don't... Um, you know, just fronting. And then they be behind the scenes, like, conjuring up shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the funny shit. All right, you guys. I'm going to leave it there. Something about horseback riding. I'm hearing something about horseback riding. All right, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.